I've just always kicked. Um, I think since I was a little little boy, um, and I've always had. A I think it's important, you know, that they do get kids into it, you know, into uh, rugby, and you can tell some of them come to some of our games and, and uh, they're asking some some good questions. They have some really good questions earlier on, um, but like I say, it's. it's it's a good, it's a good club, and they like to do stuff for the kids, and uh, it will always, will always be there to welcome. It's definitely great to see uh, the interest uh, in rugby league around Wakefield and, and with the little kids. Um, you know, little kids they uh, they view and, and see the game a lot different to, to adults, um, and again, they they probably know the the game um, a lot better than than adults and and, and their families. Um, you know, asking earlier though, like um, that, they could tell you every second of the match and, and who did what. Oh, it's brilliant! I can't. It's just unbelievable the, the tactics they've got and all that. But it's brilliant being coached by like the Wakefield Wildcats players, and it's brilliant to be here today. But because all tickets sold, and I'm a bit lucky to be here. Good to see young kids and that supporting the team. You know, it's, it hasn't been the best year so far, but. Um, you know, things like this, it makes you really sort of humble to, to be a part of the game and, and to come down and sort of teach them what you got sort of thing. So, um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. It's um, It's been a few weeks in, in making a lot of negotiating with coaches at work and uh, I've got to thank Richard for letting them come up after training this morning as well. But Jared, Paul, Harry, they've come up and, they, you know, they've got stuck in. They've had a great time with kids and fingers crossed their kicking's on ball on Sunday when we play Bradford. We're just not performing very well, but I know we could be up there if we upped this game. Like Bradford, they've got zero points and we're up, but we could always lose to Bradford and they could get back on track. And we really don't want to get relegated down into the next league. Yes, I think they can avoid it. It's just that we need to get, because they've got like six or more players out and they need to build up the team. They need to get some players in and out and stuff like that. We just need to build up, we need to be get this ball out and stuff like that and we'll be in corners and we'll be scoring. But, but I think we, if we played, we just need to play well, like that six plus losses, stuff like that. That's not good enough, but I think we can do better this, this coming season, this coming end of the season. But when, if we do stay at the top of the season, I think next season we'll build up. It's definitely going to be a crucial match uh, for both sides. Uh, us, this, this could be the start and um, also could secure our Super League season for, for next year if we were to win. So it, um, it does have a lot riding on it, but at the end of the day, it's just another two points up for grabs and we, uh, it's two points we definitely need and we definitely want um, going to, to Bradford. It's not going to be an easy task. Um, they haven't had a great start themselves, so they're going to be looking forward to, to getting two points and they're going to try and climb up the, the ladder and this is just a, another game where they've got an opportunity to, to do that themselves. I don't think it's as make or break. For us, is what it is for Bradford. I think with them getting points back, it'll sort of determine where we go from there. But I think at the moment we're eight points ahead, and um, we're pretty confident that we'll knock them over on the weekend. And, and I think the week after we've got London, so I think they're sort of two two really important games for us. That where we can get the win, we're sort of I think we're pretty much home and hose for relegation.